tell us a little bit about the Greek Orthodox Church and um, some of the, the main tenets. I think many Americans probably don't understand um, the, the main tenets of the faith and uh, how many adherents you have worldwide. Yeah, well, the, um, the Greek Orthodox Church or the Orthodox Church in general, mm -hmm. sometimes called Eastern Orthodox Church, uh, is a church of having today approximately 300 million people. They are basically the people of part, major part of Eastern Europe, which is the Balkans, Greece, uh, Bulgaria, Serbia, Romania, Albania, and then Russia. And there are also some, uh, a number of Orthodox people in Poland, uh, and uh, the Czech and uh, Slovak uh, republics. Uh, then there is a number of Orthodox people all over the world. America is the major concentration here in America, in the United States, according to a United Nations statistic. Uh, we are approximately five million Orthodox people. Uh, the Greek Orthodox, which means people of Greek origin of Orthodox faith, are approximately two million people, one and a half to two million people. And uh, we have a number of representations from the mother, so-called mother churches of Europe, like the Ecumenical Patriarchate and the Patriarchates of uh, Moscow, uh, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, etc. Uh, the, uh, the basic the tenets uh, we follow from the birth of the church Till today, it's an uninterrupted line of succession. Uh, we have, as a basic text, the Bible, mm -hmm. both the Old and the New Testament. We are very blessed to have the New Testament written originally in Greek, the Old Testament written in Hebrew, but we have an early translation, the so-called Septuagint, in Greek. In addition, then, to the Bible basis, we have the decisions of the ecumenical councils. We count seven of them. And also the basic texts from fathers of the church, especially the ones designated as leading texts in terms of describing the teaching, mm -hmm. the more morality, and liturgical aspects of the church. Mm -hmm. 